almost five o'clock. I'm gonna miss my ship. Wowzers, mission accomplished. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Yeah, that's too bad. Looks like you'll have to stay in Chuggington now, Hamish. Stay in Chuggington? What are you talking about? I heard you talking with Morgan about leaving. I don't know what you think you heard, but I'm not going anywhere. Huh? You what? But you told Morgan that you were taking the last ship out. I wasn't talking about me. I was talking about all this cargo that needs to be on that ship. There won't be another boat to train Sylvania for a week. And these apples will be rotten by then. Oh. oh, no. We are so sorry. We thought you were leaving, and we were just trying to find a way to keep you here. Oh, I'm touched. But I would never leave Chuggington. It's my home. <sighs> no, you won't get all this cargo to the ship on time. Because of us. Well, it's not five o'clock yet. Right! Hey, Mish, you're going to make it on time, and we're going to help you. Hold cargo aboard! Maybe we've been thinking about this all wrong. What do you mean? We've been trying to find Coco a new sound. When maybe we should be finding a new song. Yeah, one that works with what you've got. You mean a broken horn? Don't think of it as broken. Think of it as different. But what if it doesn't work? Everyone will be listening. Have I ever been wrong before? <gasps> Well, I'm not wrong about this. Let's rock and roll. Hello, Chuggington. This is your rockin' radio host, Wilson, signing on with the musical debut of The Rock and Rollers. Woo One, two, three, hit it. second radiator. And you know what? It doesn't even matter. I was coming to tell you that I've decided to donate my second radiator to Horge. Are you sure? It's a big decision. No one will think you're a bad friend if you decide not to. I'm still kind of scared. But if I can help Hodge get better, I've got to try. Wowza, Brewster. You're so brave. Your world can change so quickly you don't even know when And you wonder if you'll ever be your old self again You want to step up and help But wonder will it be okay Choose friendship over fear And you'll be even stronger today Because no matter what You're looking 
Not exactly the stacking pattern I had in mind. I know, but... But it's the most unique job of stacking I've ever seen. It is? Aye. I've seen lots of cargo in my day, but I've never seen it stacked quite like that. Well done, trainee. <laughs> Whoa! Honking horns! You were so nice to come and help us. We wanted to come and help you. Ty's got it all ship shape. And no shipping's ever been shaped like that before, I can tell you. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! <gasps> the Chuggington Day statue, it's... Not a statue anymore. I'm so sorry. Ah. <sighs> I just can't do anything right today. We'll find a way to fix this, as long as we work together. Right, Ty? Right! But how? It smashed into a bajillion million pieces! Maybe we could get another one. I'm afraid not. That was one of a kind, made special for Chuggington Day. Maybe there's something we can use to make a new statue. Not something. Lots of things. All the stuff in the cars we found on the treasure hunt. Yeah. We can use it all to make a new statue. Interesting idea, trainees. Everything in those cars does represent Chuggington perfectly. Oh, and if we put them together, it'll remind us of all the special places and chuggers around Chuggington. And that's what Chugging Today is all about. Well, what are we waiting for? We've got a statue to make. Working side by side is the best way to do it. We'll help each other out so we can all get through. I think I've heard that before. 
What is she doing? Zephy! When you hear scary sounds, you go away from them. It's okay. I think I know what this sound is. The spooky chugger must have her under some kind of spell. We have to save her. I'm tired of being a scaredy chugger. I'm going to find out what's going on. Ah, the, the spooky chugger! <laughs> There's something familiar about it, though. Zephy! I can't look! Don't touch his cup, Oh, thank goodness you're here. But why are you dressed like this spooky chugger? Ah, the wind blew another tarp onto me. Head off, been riding around all night, trying to shake it off. So you knocked into those cars? I guess so. I couldn't see them, but I sure did feel them. Are you okay? What are you two doing out here? Did I wake you up again? We were just worried about you. I'm guessing the repair shed didn't work out. Too many weird noises. You don't notice them during the day, but at night... You probably think I'm being a big baby. No way! Uh-uh. Besides, if you were a baby, you'd be asleep by now. Babies can sleep anywhere. You know what? I wouldn't want to sleep alone in a strange place either. Yeah. So... Why don't we all sleep alone together? <laughs> it's a bird! A big flappy bird! A flappodactyl! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Just the machines. Hey, let's tell a silly story. I'll start. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a ship that was so sleepy. He couldn't even count himself. <laughs> and when he tried to jump over the fence, he tripped and fell down. <laughs> it was just fine with him, since he wanted to go to sleep anyway. <sighs> that is so silly. <sighs> silly and sleepy. Sleepy. <sighs> Thanks for staying with me last night. I slept great. Me too. Me three. Good afternoon, you sleepyheads. I have some great news, Wilson. The pipe got here today after all. You'll be able to sleep in your own cabin tonight. Oh, thanks. I suppose. I thought you'd be happy. I am. But having a sleepover with Coco and Brewster was so much fun. Well, just because your cabin will be fixed doesn't mean you can't have another sleepover. Oh, yeah. Aha, I fixed it. For real this time. Trick Way to go, Eddie. It just goes to show you should never give up. <gasps> oh, that's it. I give up. Ah, good luck figuring out what to get. Hope you do better than I did with this clock. But what are we going to do without a clock in Chuggington? Maybe we don't have to live without one. You mean we should use the gold nugget to get... <laughs> Now that's what a clock is supposed to sound like. Whoa! But where did it come from? We had lots of ideas about what to get with the gold nuggets. Every idea we had was about getting something for ourselves. But this new clock is something everyone can use. That's amazing. You three should be really proud of yourselves for doing something so selfless. I've got this crate to give to Cormac. Where is he? 
Ah, nice try, Clock. You can't fool Cormac. I'm way too smart for that. <laughs>